Antiquing is, in part, a search for our history, says antiques appraiser Connie Sue Davenport. We collect and treasure, uh, try to have or find the things that remind us of the sweet, comforting times of our childhood with our grandparents primarily. Businesses like 112 Antique Mall are common sites along highways and byways across the U.S where multiple vendors offer an ever-changing selection of antiques. Rita Reed has been in the business for more than 20 years. What people are buying when they buy an antique, they're buying a memory. They're buying something that was at their grandmother's house or their great aunt Sally's house or uh, something they saw and, and loved in a, in a museum maybe. And most of those antique buyers are young. People over 50 are not buying so much anymore, it seems because I think they've got most everything they want and they're being more selective but younger people are furnishing houses and doing things like that so they're they're looking for for something uh, that you see in the magazines she says do-it-yourself television programs and magazines are fueling a market for items that can be repurposed i think people enjoy making something their own and having something different from what everybody else has. Antique shopper Roseanne Cornett recognizes this evolution and the items offered at antique shops. Yeah, I think they offer more stuff that is um, like salvaged or that people can repurpose. It changes pretty consistently. You never know what you're gonna find. It's always kind of a scavenger hunt. Just down the interstate highway from the antique mall is Sweet Pickens, part of a breed of shop particularly suited to shoppers who are repurposing. Tim LaRoche is the owner. And some people call it an antique store, but it's a junk shop, for sure. When I first opened up over here, I brought was bringing stuff over that I was gonna do the project and then sell it, but what I found was people were buying all my materials that I was gonna build with, and uh, they just took off from there. Independent antique businesses are finding a place in the U.S. economy by getting yesterday's treasures and sometimes yesterday's junk into the hands of new owners. So you can't underestimate what people may be looking for for their project. Literally anything is fair game. And that's what we've got, literally a little bit of everything. For VOA News, I'm Barry Richards in White House, Tennessee.